paper fee. In both first paper as well as second paper, any person who is observing the society will be able to answer. Say about globalization, everything about the societal values, any person can answer. But what is the speciality? Being a geography student, we have to write it with a geographical tinge. Say they, in this time they ask in geography, oh, what are the basic factors are responsible for the growth of uh, the automobile industry in India? Anybody can write. We need market, we need a uh, lab, we need governmental support, we need finance, we need good ma market and uh, other infrastructure facilities. But we have to write it within a geographical thing. Select a particular place, say Chennai, or uh, say Nairunga to Kotei. So what is the speciality there? So we have to draw that uh, draw that area and you have to mention the parts. So these, uh, so for example, Hyundai and then Renault, these are all located there. That is how we can differentiate ourselves from other papers. And as far as possible, try to use diagrammatic representation. Say pie chart or a flow chart. Because before going into your answers, they will be looking at this uh, flow chart. Now you are guiding them properly. And as far as possible, try to make your, uh, make your examiner feel ease while correcting his, uh, your answer. Wherever required, you try to project yourself very well. So that you are reducing the workload of examiner. Yes, in fact, we have to go as per the psychology of the examiner. And legible handwriting is enough and it is almost required. Mostly people score because of their good handwriting also. And as far as essay is concerned, now we have 200 marks for essay. Essay is concerned, it is a very open area. They ask anything and you can write anything, but you have to keep yourself uh, in line with the question. You should not digress, that is what. You are, you are even welcome to give your own uh, bold opinions, but you should not go out of the context. That is what they are expecting. You have to use precise language and uh, you have to arrange your points in an orderly manner. This is what they do expect in amends. If we are following these techniques, these approaches, surely we will be attending the interview. Surely we will be attending interview. As far as personality test is concerned, they are to test the personality of us and uh, they test our attitude, that is prime. Even if we are not able to communicate ourselves well, if our attitude is good, they are giving good marks. And the board is, board is much more cordial. If at all it is aggressive, it is only to test you how you are to manage in that situation. They are very, very cordial and even to some extent they are also helping you. And uh, if we are giving certain radical views, then we will be at the receiving end, surely. So at any point of time, since we are going to become a civil service, uh, we are going to become a part of civil service, in general, we should not go against our government stand. If we take a stand against our government, then we should, we should be logically able to prove that very clearly. It has happened uh, uh, last time, when one of uh, a candidate who went before me, and uh, when uh, an issue about Nexalism was raised, he was favoring Nexalism. Now how he was treated, he was treated in fact very badly. After years and years of uh, hard work, he, atten he was attending an in interview, but because of his reckless answer, he has lost. So we should never have a stand, we should never take any radical or conservative stand. That is for our safer side. And this is what about uh, the entire gamut of civil service examination. And these are all the approaches that I followed and which has uh, paid me very well. As for any, if at all you have got any questions regarding the approaches, you can ask me. Uh, 10 minutes is there. You can, you can, be feel, uh, you can feel free to ask.
what will be the time frame you suggest for the preparation of the prelims as well as the mains whether we have to uh, mingle both the preparation for the prelims as well as mains while preparing for prelims itself or we can start the preparation after the prelim mains that is from may to october Um, my option is public administration. I'm planning to choose. Now I'm planning to study my uh, start my public administration in syllabus. Will I be able to complete within a short span of time? Thank you. the people you know, the people the, the in the intermediate there are only three groups you do physics chemistry uh, mathematics or physics chemistry biology and then history and logic and uh, only three groups and once you pass that they will always ask once you say i am going for economics they know you are uh, set your eyes on the ias but you start preparing from then onwards graduate uh i took accounts is it feasible to get good marks sir okay eduthu solra vidham ungalukku bayama irukka so anala or or gramathana ke neenga epdi vali kattinga na nalla irukum avanga sonna enakku puridhu irukundhalo but ungude neenga online experience irukadhanaala neenga na romba gramathana varren so anala engalukku la andha konja fearness konja irundhanaala indha inga irukka makkala face pandra thayirathu nenum அந்த எப்படி எதிர்கொண்டு மேற்கு மேற்கனால ஸோ வி ஹவ் த கான்ஃபிடன்ஸ் லைக் யூ பட் அதர் தென் த ஃபீச்சர்ஸ் எக்ஸ்ட்ரா ஃபீச்சர்ஸ் என்ன யூனிக் த யூஎஸ்பின்னு சொல்லக்கூடிய கிடையாது சொன்னீங்கன்னா இட் வில் ஹெல்ப் ஃபார் அஸ் பேப்பர்ஸ் ஃபார் ஆப்ஷனல் Son, during my college days, I read more about Swami Vivekananda. Entire of his uh, philosophy is Advaita and Narseva Narayan Seva. Serving the people is serving the God. In fact, it has in, really penetrated into me very well. That is the prime reason for me. And uh, when they asked me the personality test, I also revealed the same. Might be, it might be emotion, but they have accepted it since we are saying it from the heart. And that factor, in fact, has contributed to me. Because I have been given a very good opportunity by God. got good family got good economic background good education but still we have to play some bigger role and there are people who hardly take single square meal a day yes abdul kalam has stated statistics shows that 35 crore people in our country are hardly taking single meal a day if our go- if our physical and mental faculties are good we have to do something to the society and particularly to our country we were not there at the time of uh, the freedom struggle to lose our to no sacrifice our lives but here another struggle is going on we have to do something certainly there are poverty due to terror attacks you know how many people have lost their life things are like that surely and in fact that is the prime reason i have to do something if i go to my father's business i'll be thinking about myself and my family but i don't want to not draw a narrow boundary to around myself that is my that is a personal reason and now which is inspiring me and certainly uh, i have another attempt also and i have already written mines i will never stop till i become an ias that is for sure that is my own conviction certainly i will be doing that now coming to <laughs> coming to other aspects about time frame see some of you have asked if you are starting public administration now that is enough certainly enough based on the uh, to clear the prelims that we'll do because there are certain approaches there are that in standard books 
three months is enough to solve that because we have got n number of uh, books which will be guiding you properly. But you, what you need is guidance, either guidance from your seniors or guidance from the reputed institute. And uh, because you don't digress from the uh, from the right path if you are being uh, guided by your seniors. So that will do, certainly that will do. Yes, I know a lot many candidates who are just after, only after applying for a prelims, they will uh, write, they will uh, focus on the preparation, they will go in a, in, a, in a regulated path and after completing the prelims, they have taken uh, second option of coaching, still they were able to get 33rd rank in uh, uh, the final level. But there are always uh, of, uh, you know, uh, path open, but it is up to us whether we are able to grasp the things very quickly in three months or not. So as far as uh, problems regarding public administration, if you have studied those two books very strongly, go for extra books also, because we have enormous time now. Till on uh, March 31, you can study new, but after March 31, the entire April month and first 10 days of May, go only for revision. And for prelims, start to give, you know, start to mark the questions. Start to take mock tests daily. Mutchelvan, very much for a long talk of giving from prelims to interview. He has finished the long journey which he came through. Right from the basics, uh, this thing. Sir, it was uh, good, this thing. He has been teaching also. After getting into it, it's a very rap opportunity. Instead of coming as a guest lecturer, he has been teaching our people as a successful person. In fact, he was an asset to us uh, that way. Now, uh, I request uh, Priyanka Nagar to give a bucket to our uh, principal advisor, Mr. V. R. Lakshmi Narayan. Mr. V. R. Lakshmi Narayan. Mr. V. R. Lakshmi Narayan was uh, from 1951 batch of uh, IPS and he has uh, worked with uh, eminent uh, personalities like uh, Jawaharlal Nehru, Mrs. Indira Gandhi, Charan Singh and MGR like as closely when MGR was there he was a DGP here. In fact, he, when we tried to bring in uh, Mr. Vijay Kumar DGP, unfortunately he had to urgently go. Even though we don't have uh, Mr. Vijay Kumar, his trainer is here, whom we trained. That way we are very fortunate. The person who trained who was his boss, he is here. So, Mr. V. R. Lakshmanaran is also associated with a number of uh, volunteer organizations. At present, uh, he is also the chairman of uh, Bharadev Bhavan here. And he uh, is an eminent social activist for any social issues. He raises his head. Many of you may not be knowing also. His elder brother is, uh, was an eminent judge, Mr. V. R. Krishnayar, who won at the, at the age of 94, who had his recently his birthday. He writes articles even at this age on social issues in the Hindu. So he comes from such a respectable family. In fact, he has got a lot of uh, rich experiences to share, which he will also tell you how, uh, in fact, he used to tell me, had I not been IPS, the emotional, this thing, the memories which I enjoy, I would not have had breakfast and lunch with uh, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. And he used to tell also in one TV interview, I have seen him telling, even if I get a nest birth, I should get into IPS. And all that also from Tamil Nadu cadet. <laughs> so there are a lot of uh, aspirants are there, sir, in IPS, where you can also share some of the experiences, how he used to go when uh, Shah Commission inquiry was there, when he went to Mrs. Gandhi and all. All that uh, very rich uh, experience which he has got. We are fortunate whenever we go to him, I call him up for any help with his benign smile. He never gets uh, this thing. Whenever I invite him also, though I only feel I trouble him, but he is very happy to be with youngsters and he goes in the city. You can see in Chennai every day he will be in news in some organization. Particularly he has got a soft corner for our institution and he has been the guiding spirit uh, behind all over this thing with this uh, few words and he has written a book also appointments and disappointments that is also like uh, dr sundaram's book of uh, plate of uh, honesty he has also mentioned a lot uh, about his experiences in the government particularly when